Hello and welcome to your 24 FK Stealth Nomad. First thing you're gonna wanna do is plug it in and then come to the front here. We have a on off switch for the light bar underneath just in case you need to hook up at night. Give you a retract and extend for your automatic jack. Behind here, this if you pull this off, there is a override, so the override socket. So just in case the battery does go out or this electrically goes out, you are able to manually do it through here. Back here for your propane, this little black tab points to whatever propane tank you would like to lose, use. This, loosen up to the left. So now it's reading off of that one. Right here you have a solar charge. This is going to be your city fill. And then also your fresh tank fill. I'd recommend getting a water pressure regulator for your city fill because the campgrounds are pushing for a lot of water. You don't want to blow out your lines. Here this is going to be your outside shower, hot and cold come down to the bottom here. This is your sewer outlet connection. Everything is labeled. So you just pop this off. This will be shut. You'll burn up. It'll start draining. Same goes for your wastewater holding tank. Pop that off, pull that, and then it'll start draining. Coming over to your tires, the green cap does indicate that it is filled with nitrogen not air you are able to fill it with regular air but these are just filled with nitrogen coming to the back you do have doors or handles to open the door i can't open it because of the post coming along to this side here you have a tv little bracket mount here just in case you do I wouldn't recommend having that on your fiberglass because it will eventually start to warp. Come up here, same thing if you want a TV, satellite, and you also have 110 outlets here. Coming up here, this is going to be your water heater. So what you have here is an anode rod. So the anode rod, when it goes into here, it's a 1 1 16th socket to tighten down. What this does is when this fills up, the hard water will eat at this and make this deteriorate, deteriorate rather than the metal on your heater. So how this works is you put this in, you turn on the hot side of your faucet inside, it'll start to sputter, and then eventually it'll have a steady flow of water. That means this pushed out all the air and it's completely filled. After this, you go to your water heater button inside, turn it on, that'll kick on the electrical element of your water heater. Let's say it's been a little while, you need to drain this because your water does get stagnant. You pull this. This is going to be your pressure release valve. What this does is it releases the pressure. So when you do go to unscrew this, it doesn't shoot out at you and end up injuring you. Water will leak from here, pull this, it'll start shooting out faster and it'll end up draining a lot quicker. So once you close that up, if you look up at the top right of your awning, that little black tab up there, what that does is that is also a manual override. So if you ever have this electrically go out, you are able to put a socket in there and manually override this and push it back in. Coming around to the front here, we have another handle to open this up. That's gonna be your pitch work. Same along with this. This is going to be for your lugs coming up front. This is going to be your sewer hose. I'd recommend getting in a quote unquote indestructible one because these, if these break, they'll start to leak and that's just going to be a huge mess. This is going to be your drinking hose. This is going to be your drinking hose and your 110 adapter. So what your trailer is currently hooked up to will go into this and this is able to go into your house. So coming down to the front here, this is going to be your battery. What I would recommend doing if you're leaving it sit for any more than four days is to disconnect the negative end off your battery because you do have a carbon monoxide detector inside that is always going to be drawing power. So if you're gonna leave this for more than four days, it will kill your battery. Coming up to your door. To pull down the stairs, it's pretty self-explanatory. You pull this, which releases these little pins allows you to drop it and set up just like that. So walking into your trailer, 
On the left side here is going to be your lights. Then coming down here to your bottom right, so it's going to be your awning. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is roll this out till you see a, well, the little black tube. Hope that I can reel this out all the way. There we go. So once the little flap comes down and you can see that little black tube, that means you're fully extended. If you keep reeling out, it'll end up reeling the opposite way and it'll break your awning. To pitch it for the rain, pull here. You will pitch it for the rain. It's currently leading to one side. To reel it back in, you just push. And feel free to go ahead and start reeling back in. Also, along the right side here, you do have your water heater that you can turn on. And then this is going to be your water pump. So if you do fill up that fresh tank, this will help push water through your system. And all these read your battery, your fresh tank, black tank, and your gray tank. Moving up to your sound system, go ahead and turn it on. And then this is going to be zone one. So it's going to be inside. Zone two is going to be outside. You also have the opportunity to use Bluetooth and aux slash USB here as well. So coming over to your stove, when you open it up, go ahead and click and turn, and this is gonna be your igniter. There's one side, and there's the other. So you gotta do, turn it, there's a light, high and low, and the middle's gonna be your igniter. Right now, this is gonna be your dishwasher. Coming down to your fridge here, open this up, that toggles, one is cold, five is the coldest. And then you have all your other buttons here on this side to turn it on and off. This is going to be access to your, underneath your sink, right down here will lead to your water pump and to your water heater. The keys, they're color coded. The purple is going to be for your main doors and the silver are going to be for your baggage doors along with your outside shower and the outside sewer fill and fresh fill compartments. Coming into the bathroom, this is going to be a foot flush, which you're going to want to need. So you're going to need RV grade toilet paper along with solution. So you put in about a gallon of water, put in a little bit of that solution. The solution will help break down solids and smells along with the RV grade toilet paper. That'll help break down easier so it doesn't clog your systems and you'll have to replace it all. Coming into your main room here, this is going to be your thermostat, controlled colder and warmer through up top. For your AC, all the controls are going to be right on your ceiling. Fans, cools, and eventually off. Heat and cool is through this little temperature dial here. Coming over to your vents. Push one way to open. Same thing goes for the other way. Coming over to your couch here. Undo that. I have to do this with one arm. If you're going to want to pull out your legs. both sides, go ahead and pull. So once you do pull that bottom part down, you're going to want to lift up and push in and then it'll eventually fold. And you just pull up from the top, keep pushing down and it'll eventually scoot right in. See onto the ground, you have your couch. Do you pull it back up, pull the bar up, put both legs back in. And you grab from under here, you just grab this, pull it up, bed will start to fold down, pull it up, make sure both legs are in, and go ahead and clip it back in. Moving over to your bed lift, up is up, down is down. That's where it stops. All right, so I moved it down a little bit. If you want to leave your bed 
up top here and let's say you want to move these uh, little sliders down if you want to fit any of your toys or whatever you bring along inside of here you want to come along here give it a little bit of pressure and flip that little gold piece and I'll go ahead and set right back down you're gonna to want to do that for every side Now that you're all set with that, go ahead and lift up, and you'll hear it click. And go ahead and move it down, and all of your sliders, move down, while your bed stays up.